Hi, I'm Miss Lucy, and today's read aloud is A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving by Charles M. Schultz. Lucy always held the football for Charlie Brown to kick, and she always pulled it out from under him. It's Thanksgiving. We shouldn't try to trick me on a traditional holiday, Charlie Brown said as he charged at the ball. But Lucy yanked it away and asked, isn't it peculiar, Charlie Brown, how some traditions just slowly fade away? Holidays always depress me, Charlie Brown said as he checked the mail. You know what I mean, replied his little sister Sally. Why should I give thanks on Thanksgiving? What have I got to be thankful for? All it does is make more work for us at school. Thanksgiving is a very important holiday. Ours was the first country in the world to make a national day to give thanks. What are you gonna do on Thanksgiving, Charlie Brown? Linus asked. Sally and I are going over to my grandmother's house for dinner, replied Charlie Brown. Ring, ring. Hey, Chuck, this is Peppermint Patty. My dad said I could share Thanksgiving with you, Chuck. And remember that kid, Marcy? She's gonna join us, and Franklin too. See ya. The three guests for Thanksgiving dinner. I'm not even going to be home, moaned Charlie Brown. You simply have two dinners, Linus said calmly. Cook the first one for yourself and for your friends and then go to your grandmother's with your family for the second one. Charlie Brown's dog Snoopy was ready to help. First, he set up a table with lots of chairs in the backyard. Okay, Snoopy, that's pretty good, Charlie Brown said. Come on inside. We need some help with the food. The kids set up an assembly line to make Thanksgiving dinner. Charlie Brown and Linus put bread in the toasters. And when the toast popped up, Snoopy spread butter on it. Then Snoopy raced around the kitchen, making popcorn and filling bowls with jelly beans, potato chips, and pretzels. Soon, everyone arrived. It was time for Thanksgiving dinner. Before we are served, shouldn't we say grace? Asked Peppermint Patty. Linus stood up. Ahem. In the year 1621, the pilgrims had their first Thanksgiving feast. Elder William Brewster, who was a minister, said a prayer that went something like this. We thank God for our homes and food and our safety in the new land. We thank God for the opportunity to create a new world for freedom and justice. Amen, Peppermint Patty said. On each plate, Snoopy proudly placed two slices of toast, a pile of popcorn, and a handful of pretzel, and lots of jelly beans. Then he sailed each plate down the table like a frisbee. What blockhead cooked all this? Peppermint Patty asked angrily when she saw the funny food. Don't you know anything about Thanksgiving dinner? Charlie Brown got up from the table and sadly walked away. You're kind of rough on Charlie Brown, aren't you, sir? Marcy asked. Rough? We were supposed to be served a real Thanksgiving dinner, replied Peppermint Patty. Sir, asked Marcy, did he invite you for dinner or did you invite yourself and us too? Oh, I never thought of it like that, Peppermint Patty admitted. Marcy, maybe you can go get old Chuck and patch things up for me. Marcy found Charlie Brown inside. Don't feel bad, Chuck. Peppermint Patty didn't mean all those things, she said. I just feel bad because it ruined everyone's Thanksgiving, said Charlie Brown. But Thanksgiving is more than eating, Chuck, Marcy said. We should just be thankful for being together. Peppermint Patty peeked into the room. Apologies accepted, Chuck, old boy. Sure, Charlie Brown said. Good grief, it's four o'clock, Charlie Brown said. He called his grandmother and told her that all his friends were still there and that none of them had eaten dinner yet. So she invited everyone to Thanksgiving dinner at her house. Hooray, cheered the Peanuts gang. They piled into the station wagon and began to sing. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Back at Charlie Brown's house, Snoopy and Woodchuck decided to celebrate Thanksgiving on their own with a turkey dinner and all the trimmings. 
Happy Thanksgiving. The end. Thanks for watching the WPL Read Alouds. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more content.